Hey everyone, this is Zach Hampel coming to you from Safeco Field in Seattle, and there's kind of an unusual circumstance here today. Massive wildfires not too far from here in British Columbia, just on the other side of the Canadian border, and the wind has blown that smoke into Seattle, so it's really smoky here. And as a result, I just saw a tweet that said that the Mariners are going to be taking batting practice indoors to limit their exposure to the smoke. So that's kind of a bummer. The Astros are in town. Hopefully they'll hit out on the field. And there's an epic pitching matchup tonight. Garrett Cole, King Felix, we'll cover all that stuff later on. Let's get to it. Alright, inside the stadium and this place is smoky. And if you're wondering why the roof is open, why not close it and keep the smoke out? Well, the roof here does not completely enclose the stadium. It's almost like an umbrella, so that smoky air would come in regardless. Now, the first thing I saw when I got here was that the party deck in left center field is closed for a private event. So that wipes out a whole lot of opportunities right down in front behind the left center field wall. But I did spot two baseballs sitting on a ledge in the bullpen, so I'm on the board, gave both of those away, and then when the Astros started hitting, went to right field, got a toss up, then hurried back to left, and used the glove trick to pluck a ball out of the bullpen. So four baseballs early, despite the kind of difficult circumstances today. So feeling pretty good, and the Astros are still taking their cuts. I lost my magic marker, but it's worth it. Baseball number seven on the day. And I'll give that to you. That is it for batting practice. I got one more ball with the glove trick out in the left field bullpen to bring my total for the day to eight. The last five I got with the glove trick, and I've given away six of those balls so far. I feel like that's the way to go in this stadium because there's really no seating area in left field to catch home runs unless you go way up to the second deck. You can take your chances out in right field, but it was kind of crowded today. The Astros had a lot of righty batters, so not that many baseballs went out in that direction. And in case you missed it, I've done a whole separate video on the glove trick. Basically a tutorial that shows you how to set it up and use it. So if you haven't seen that, check the description for this video. I will throw a link there. For right now, I want to give a quick shout out to SeatGeek. And guys, yes, I do these promos from time to time, but it's for a really good reason. SeatGeek has been so supportive and instrumental in helping me to go to all these games, visit all these stadiums. So if you like these videos, help me to help them, all right? For those who still don't know, SeatGeek is an app that gathers tickets from all over the internet into one spot to make it really easy to buy them. And it's not just baseball, okay? They do all sports, they do concerts, they do comedy. So if you're gonna buy tickets, seriously, why not use SeatGeek, all right? So, in the description for this video, you will find a link there that you can use to download the SeatGeek app, all right? So do that, and on your very first purchase of $21 or more, use the promo code Zach, Z-A-C-K, and you'll get a $20 discount from SeatGeek. That is a huge deal. There is so much money to be saved. You'll be helping them, and you'll be helping me. So please do it. Mariners fans loving seeing their superstar pitcher Felix Hernandez getting loose for this game. 
And over on the Astros side, you've got Garrett Cole, two amazing righties, top tier pitching matchup. And the bullpen configuration at this stadium is top tier as well. Amazing views and access to the players. So when you're at this stadium, make sure you check out that standing room area behind the bullpens and see your favorite pitchers warm up. For right now, this game is underway and I'm out here in right field. And the second batter of the game, Marwin Gonzalez, launched a deep fly ball in my direction. Home run. I was inches from snagging that baseball out from under a seat. So that was really frustrating. But I'm hoping for some more long ball magic out this way. And it might happen because these pitchers have not yet found their groove. Third inning, Astros on top. Four to two. It's a final here in Seattle, and it was a really big day for Robinson Cano. Not only did he tie Ken Griffey Jr. on the all-time doubles list, but he hit a three-run go-ahead homer in the bottom of the eighth inning to put his team on top for good. Edwin Diaz, blistering pace this season with saves, came in and locked down his 100th career save. Final score, 7-4. Now as for me, I had a great time today. I snagged eight baseballs during batting practice, and then I got a toss up after the game down by the Mariners dugout. But I'm not gonna count that final ball because it's a little league ball. So my official number for the day is eight. And if you count all the ones that I gave away today, that brings my lifetime total to 10,551. One more note about the smoke in the air. Really bad air quality. Someone told me that being outside in Seattle is like the equivalent of smoking seven cigarettes. So my body might pay the price, but it was worth it. And on a final note, I want to give a quick shout out to the Embassy Suites by Hilton right here in downtown Seattle. They are hooking it up for me on this trip, taking really good care of me. It's a gorgeous hotel, you guys. Perfect location, right near the King Street Station, walking distance to both Safeco and the Seahawks Stadium. So if you're planning a trip to Seattle, definitely consider checking that place out. That's it for me. I'll be back tomorrow. One more video, look for that one. And as always, thanks for watching this one.